The family was forced to abandon their home after the entire place was destroyed by a skunk. And if that's not bad enough, they've been fighting with their insurance company since it happened. Their insurance company says the damage is not covered. The family believes that it is, so they decided to get Marty. I mean, it's unbelievable. It's complete skunk. This Get Marty is a real stinker. Everything smells. This Get Marty doesn't pass the smell test. I never thought I'd be smelling a... <laughs> it just doesn't go away. Okay, once we dispense of all of the cliches, we can focus on reality. The gray home in Ligonier has been destroyed by the odor from a skunk. I'm ruined. I have roughly a 4,000 square foot home that is now worth crap. It's almost worth me not paying my mortgage and let them repo it. Every picture you see, every single one, from furniture to food to clothing to toys, even the refrigerator, must be thrown out. The walls and floors need stripped and replaced. Total damage, nearly $300,000 from a skunk. Would you have been better off if your house burned to the ground? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And I came through here, my one dog was bleeding in the face because it got in a fight with it. With the skunk. With the skunk. And the skunk ran from in there right across my foot and bolted into my bedroom. The Grays have what's described as an all-risk policy, which means anything that happens to your home is covered unless it's specifically excluded. In fact, they have more than a half a million dollars in coverage. Nationwide told me I have the top-of-the-line best policy they offer. The Grays tell me their agent told them everything was covered. Then. Four days later, after carpets were cleaned, walls scrubbed, lots of items thrown out, told they aren't covered at all. Something with skunk spray is a pollutant and not a bodily fluid. Really? The denial letter had the chemical breakdown of skunk spray. That's when the Grays reached out to me. At this point, I have thrown away approximately $20,000 in personal items. I am so grateful you are trying. The homeowners here have incurred you know, a huge loss. We brought in a pro to fight for the grace. Robert Massoff is an insurance adjuster. When we took on the city of Pittsburgh and insurance companies on behalf of a bar owner on the south side whose business was destroyed by water from a PWSA pipeline, he stepped right in. Mazoff got the bar owner enough money to save his business. He intends to do the same thing for the Gray family by going after the insurance company. He says they have a great case. They're trying to do whatever they can to get out of paying the claim. And I can explain to the insurance company where the claim is covered and what section of the policy it is covered under. Nationwide Insurance promised me they are looking into it, sending this statement. Nationwide does not publicly discuss the specifics related to claims. The company investigates and considers the individual facts and circumstances of the claim in light of the applicable insurance policy provisions, as well as any applicable state laws prior to making a decision. I can't do it. You get sick? Meantime, yeah, the Grays right. can't go home. Forced out with their two kids for weeks now, their dream home now makes them physically ill. I've actually thrown up a few times, like... You've thrown up? Uh-huh. We're not asking for anything that somebody else wouldn't ask for if this kind of stuff happened. Like, we just want our lives back. I thought I'd seen it all. Unbelievably nice people. So what do you do when an insurance company denies your claim? There are two avenues. You reach out to an independent adjuster, which we have in the middle of this one. Many of them are connected to lawyers. They will take a chunk of the settlement, but they will fight for you. Meantime, Nationwide was not uncooperative with us. They're just looking at this, and the adjuster in the story and several lawyers are engaged in the case if Nationwide rules against this family again. Well, you can see an estimated damages of $300,000. Wow. Why are the insurance company might go, whoa, whoa, wait a minute here before they just write a check for that amount. But how does it get to 300000 like that? So they have to tear out the walls. Oh, wow. they, have to, they have to tear out the wood. The TV set smells. No, really. Yeah. I am not kidding. I was throughout the whole house. The furniture. It's insane. Now, you think a skunk hits a car, you smell it for a right. few days, right? This has ruined a house. If you can imagine a skunk ran in through a door right when they came back from trick-or-treating with their kids. It's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah, it really well, is. you know what a skunk smells like right. when your windows are open and you yeah. smell it right. you know, miles away. And, so. and imagine this, this skunk is chasing, uh. the dogs are chasing the skunk through the house and the spray is uh. everywhere. everywhere. No Pepe de Pew in this <laughs> one, folks.
<laughs> just the pew. <laughs> just the pew. Uh, Marty. All right, Marty. Lord Thank it. you. <laughs> Thanks so much. Well, hey, if you have a problem and you want to get Marty, you can send an email to get Marty at kdka.com or call 412-575-2244 and visit kdka.com slash get Marty to see how he's making a difference one story at a time.